Welcome to the Delta Math tutorial. This is on the exponent rule level one. Here it asks us to express the following fraction in simplest form using only positive exponents. We have 10z to the fifth power. And on the bottom we have parentheses 5z third to the second power. Please note that you are gonna be required to use your properties of an exponent. Let's deal with the bottom value first. We have 5z third to the second power. We know that these have an exponent of one. This is an exponent of an exponent. So we need to multiply the exponent. Okay. So on top, it's still 10z to the fifth power. That remains unchanged. And on the bottom, it is five, one, times the 2 because that was the exponent then you have your z which is z to the third power now it's going to be multiplied by the 2 because that is the that is the power of a product exponents of an exponent you multiply the exponent so nothing happened to the 10 z to the fifth power that remains on top on bottom it becomes 5 to the second power and z to the sixth power. All right, let's simplify. Let's break this down into the um, number and the variable. So the number here is just 10 divided by 5 to the 25th power, and the variable is z to the fifth and z to the sixth. 10 divided by the square root of 5, so sorry, this 5 squared becomes 25. And here you can see that it is a quotient of an exponent. When you division of the same base, which is z, you subtract the exponent. So you're going to have z, 5 minus 6 so you're gonna have z negative 1 and here you have 10 over 25 which can be simplified into 2 over 5 all right they do not like the negative 1 power here so what we are going to do is negative exponent you flip the terms so it becomes 2 is on top, 5 is on bottom, the z to the negative 1 was on top, now it comes to the bottom. So your final answer is 2 divided by 5 and z. And z is to the first power, but we never write it to the first power. All right, there you go. And this gives you details on the steps, if you would like. Next problem. We have 3v to the 8th divided by 3v 5th to the 3rd. All right. So I'm... I'm going to already split this, so I have the number is 3 divided by 3, and I'm going to have the variables on the other side, v to the 8th divided by v to the 5th to the 3rd. Alright, so we already know 3 over 3 just becomes 1. We need to deal with this. You should remember that the bottom, you have a power of an exponent so you're going to multiply the exponent so v to the eighth is on top on bottom it is v5 I'm going to be multiplied by the three so this becomes v to the 15th power because that is five times three now this becomes a quotient of the exponent. Division of the same base, you subtract the exponent. So 
So it becomes V8 subtract 15. You're going to get V to the 8 subtract 15 is V to the negative 7 power. And again, the 1 stays here if you would like to see it. All right, nothing happened to it. No one likes the exponent of negative seven, so you have to flip the term. It's on top, so now it's gonna come to the bottom. So the final answer is one divided by V to the seventh power. One divided by V to the seventh power. There you go. And here are all the steps. Let's do one more problem. Here we have two a to the fourth to the second power divided by six a. Separate this by the number. So it's just two divided by six. I just pull out the numbers and the variable is on the other side. A fourth to the second power divided by a. We should already know this a to the fourth to the second power that is an exponent of an exponent so you're going to multiply the exponent so this should be a to the eighth power you should already know that and then here this is a quotient of the exponent notice this is a one so this becomes a eight minus one all right and right here, it's two divided by six, okay? Please understand these are all multiplications, right? Because when you split these, these are all still by multiplications. Two divided by six is one third times a, eight minus one is seven. So you can enter it as like this. One divided by three, a to the seventh power, Or you can just put a to the seventh power on top right here. Okay, it would be the same answer. All right, there you go. So that is how you do the exponent rule, level one.